Okay, hey guys, so I did a whole bunch of talking just now into the camera. I got really, really excited because I did something awesome today. I taught my girl, I'm teaching my girl how to play my top, most favorite, most played game today, and that's League of Legends. Uh, she's been playing it for a while, like a few months by now. Since we started dating, she's been pretty much playing it on and off. Uh, so, the w okay, how did it start off me getting her into League, first of all? How did I do it? Okay, so she likes playing games in general. I don't want to say she plays video games because what I consider video games is like MMOs, RPGs, you know, first person shooters, stuff like that. Like she played Call of Duty like once in her life, but she was never really a hardcore gamer. And to play games, like sit down and actually play games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, CSGO, uh, like, you know, you know, it's for someone that doesn't play video games a lot. And the only games they actually play that you can kind of consider video games are like Bejeweled and like simple mobile games like that, you know. You can't really say that they play video games. Like, yeah, but no. You know, it's like, kind of like saying, it's kind of like asking someone, oh, do you play video games? Uh, and, and then they say, yeah, I watch PewDiePie. Like, you know, that's kind of what it, that's kind of the concept there. Except she actually played a game. Like a lot of people say they play video games, but then they say they, but really they only watched PewDiePie. So watching someone play video games on YouTube, right, knowing what certain video games are, and playing them yourself is two different things. You know what I mean? So she played uh, Be Jewel and all that kind of stuff. So she's not, so getting someone like that into League of Legends, into a hardcore gamer game like that is really fucking hard in my opinion. And I managed to do it, I don't know, just by making it fun, you know, saying, oh, you know, if you get, if you if you accomplish this and this basic mechanic in League of Legends, you know I'll give you some kind of reward. And usually the reward is like I don't know, I'll kiss you, take you out on a date, something like that. You know, so it worked out. You know, I got I got her into League of Legends. You know, she first started off with Ash. That's pretty much everyone's basic champion. Cause you know I figured League of Legends is so complicated. It's like trying to teach someone how to fucking play chess. It's Possible but really fucking hard because there's so much that goes into the game that you develop from like skills You develop from playing other games like if you play other board games You can understand co basic concepts in chess, but it's not like she ever played games like runescape where she understands Okay, mouse clicks are movements and you can do certain movements like this then Diablo you can and you can understand how to like dodge and move around fights in sticky situations and then world of Warcraft where you understand the typical MMO style that goes into a MOBA game that um, it's just hard to teach someone something that complicated. You know, there's a lot of mechanics that you can't teach in League of Legends that just take time to learn. And for someone that plays that in something that competitive and strategic, and someone that isn't a hardcore gamer to actually be able to sit down there and have the mindset to be like, I'm gonna be keep fucking playing this game until I get this down and just have the motivation to do it. So I had to find that niche and that niche was how much fun, like how, how much fun I actually saw. Like I was having fun watching her play one champion. So pretty much her history in League of Legends, she started off with Ash. She liked Ash and it was an easy champion for her to play. She, she got to understand the basics of the game. And then she started doing good with Ash, and so I was like, you know what, let's teach her Annie, you know, Annie is fun, you, you know, you can actually get kills, you know, especially when you're playing with me, because I'm like an all-in fucking, you know, destroy them, because I'm this fucking top, t uh, like, fucking top-tier player, playing against people that are, like, new to the game, so I'm fucking killing everyone, and she's looking at me like, Bleh. <laughs> when she's playing the game, and she could never get kills, and she'd always get angry, so I decided, you know what, let's teach her Annie. Because if she lanes with me as Annie, you know, she'll pick up a kill here and there. That'll be a kill steal with Annie's fucking Qs that are fucking ridiculously strong. So she managed to do that. She got some kills. She had fun. You know, I had fun teaching her. So I taught her Annie. And I thought that, you know, the main thing I wanted to get her to use was, was spells. That was her first problem. Her first problem was she never used spells. So Annie was a good thing to teach her with that because auto attacks on Annie aren't that strong. You can't win a fight with Annie um, with, with just auto attacks unless someone is actually that bad at the game or you're just that good, you know. And I couldn't get her to be that good. So I decided, okay, let's just teach her how to press four fucking buttons. And the most fun way I could possibly do it was with Annie. For her and her mentality, just the way she is, she's weird. So I had to figure out how to do it. And the way I figured it out was with Annie. 
and he does a metric fuck ton of damage. So I was like, you know what, babe? Stand there and just press do what you normally did. See, not that much damage. Now, how about you just try that and just add Q to it? So she auto attacked, add, added Q to Annie and took half, and took like half of somebody's health and she was like, oh shit. I was like, you know, you can use another ability to do even more damage. You can press W. And then she pressed W and then she was like, holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. Now watch, when you press E on Annie, they take even more damage now. So now imagine you used everything at once and I just stood there and basic attacked and she was like, holy shit, that'd be a lot of damage. I was like, yeah, I am. And then when you hit level six, you're fucking, you throw down a bear that explodes everyone. She's like, what? That's awesome. I was like, yeah, I know. That's fucking awesome. And then she did that and I taught her Tibbers and like the whole, the whole like big thing with Tibbers and like social stuff behind Tibbers with Annie. So that was pretty fun today. Uh, not today, but uh, at first. And then uh, I taught her Morgana because I wanted to teach her how to start getting into skill shots because a lot of champions required that. And she learned, she started learning Morgana. She did very good with it. It's just her main problem was she couldn't understand mobility in the game. Like now the basic mechanic that I'm working on her, on her with is mobility. When to go in, how to move around as you're auto attacking, you know. Auto attack, move back right away or, or use A and right click, which is too fucking complicated. So just watch the auto attack animation and move back as your auto attack, as your auto attack animation is going in to hit him. And I keep telling her, when you watch me play, watch how I do that. Watch when I go in. Don't just watch me play to watch me play and get fucking pentakills and quadrakills all game. Because that's not going to teach you anything. That's going to that's just going to make it look like I'm... All you're going to get out of that is the mentality that, oh, he's just showing off, you know. Yeah, I am a little bit. But at the same time, I'm trying to show you, you know, go in when the opportunity is actually given to you. But meanwhile, stay back and poke and harass. So I'm teaching her that in League of Legends. By the way, this vlog is mostly for my League of Legends uh, fans out there. So sorry about that, guys. But yeah. So I'm teaching her basic mechanics in League of Legends. Now I'm teaching her mobility and movement. How to move around in fights, where to position yourself, you know, how to auto attack and stuff like that. She got down how to use her abilities because she went fucking 10 and 1 with Sona today. That's just fucking awesome. So after I after I taught her how to get down Morgana, I was like, okay, so now you pretty much have Morgana down. You just need to learn some basic things that this champion will teach you. And the champion that I'm teaching her mobility with is Sona because Sona has a very, very, very good E for that. Her E ability can move you around fights and that's pretty much what she needs. She knows how to use abilities and she knows how to get the maximum damage out of a champion. That's a great thing that she learned as a beginner. As a beginner, that's one thing every beginner should learn first is how to get the maximum damage out of all of your abilities. She learned that very well, better than most people, honestly. Honest to God, she uses abilities as champions better than most people do. She just needs to learn one thing and one thing only and she can learn that easily from watching pros play because pros do this perfectly and that's mobility in fights mobility when to trade and that's another thing when to trade see she has a tendency to just go into a fight and just stand there and just take hits and wonder why she's dying yeah it's like the thought of that the thought of that is fucking stupid but in reality it's a problem that a lot of people have they'll just stand there and in, in a fight and out of panic and like so much going on people throwing all these abilities at you minions in the way blocking you out of certain movements you know when you're in fights you got to constantly move around you got to hit and move them around like it's hard to get it's it's harder than it sounds and it's actually not as stupid as i it would make someone sound when you actually explained it this way you know it makes that person sound, oh, this person is fucking retarded. Why would you stand there and take all those hits? But when you're in spur of the moment in a fight in the game, it's so competitive as League of Legends, you know, you get like a moment of panic and you wind up just standing there. And then you, you take one hit and then you take another hit. And then pretty much people just CC you constantly. They just get all this crowd control on you, all these stuns, all these slows. When really all it really took was that one little bit of mobility that you needed to get out of the situation or to use your own ability. So there's a blog that I found that teaches you how to use your ability. The main thing that she needs to learn is using, try to find a way to use her, to use her abilities for, uh, for more than one thing. Cause the main thing that every, every champion uses abilities for is damage, to do damage and kill somebody. That's how you kill somebody is with your abilities. 
But see, different abilities have different bonuses that can help you with certain things. Like, for example, Ezreal E can help you jump over walls, and you can use that as an escape. Vayne's Q Tumble, you can use your tumble in general to dodge and move around, but you can also use it to do more damage, because after you tumble, and then you auto-attack that person, you do a lot more damage. So what you can do is with Vayne's Tumble is you can find other ways to use it. For example, you know you do more damage with your, ba with your auto basic attack after you with Vayne after you press Q and then you auto attack and do a lot more damage. So what you can do is you can tumble to dodge an ability, hit them, harass them even more, so make them have that mindset like, oh shit, okay, I should probably back off, and then you can run away happily ever after. You know, Vayne's Condemn, you can use your you can use her E to throw them into a wall or just throw them back in general when you're in a sticky situation. Try to find a way to get yourself out of. Sona's E, you can use it not only to get, not only to gain more movement speed to catch up to them to do more damage, but you can also use it for movement speed to run away. Sona's Ultimate, you can do it for a lot of damage to fucking, um, so pretty much why I picked Sona for her. She's really good at the, at the support role, that's where I started her off, she's really good at that in general. She's, it's where she's starting, it's her comfort zone support, okay. She knows Morgana, so she's learning skill shots, so that's a good champion for her to have in her arsenal. She knows Annie, she can use she knows how to use the ability she know, she learned how to use champion abilities with Annie, so we're gonna keep her on Annie, and we're gonna teach her Sona. Sona has a heal, which will get her out of sticky situations that she's always in, because she still hasn't learned she ha still hasn't mastered movement. And it'll teach her how to find a way to use her abilities for other things because Sona has so many. She has an E for a lot of fucking movement speed, and she has a Q that does a lot of damage that can she can use to learn zoning and harass to, and to learn how to harass better and just get more kills and have fun while learning how to while learning the basic mechanics of the game and getting good. This girl has potential to be pretty fucking good. She has a lot of potential. She played Sona for the first time today. Barely, like, she doesn't play League of Legends a lot, although I make it sound like that. And she f fucking went 10 and 1. And all I did was show her one thing, and I'm teaching her movement. And she's getting it down here and there. And all, all, it, did, all it took was to listen to me, you know? And she pretty much did it. And I'm also teaching her how to use active abilities on, on items. I'm teaching her three things. I'm teaching her movement. I'm teaching her posi positioning slowly. Like, the, you, when you watch me, like, when you watch me sit down next to her in a game, t t giving her pointers and, like, where to go, what not to do, what I'm trying to teach her how to do is pretty much find, find a way to use her abilities for other things, such as using them as an escape, using them to, using them for, like, dodging and going in and kind of... You know, pretty much how to find her way to use use her abilities and for other than chasing them down and killing them, finding a way to you uh, uh, like kill them, but avoid a lot of fucking spells being thrown out at you. You know what I mean? Teaching her how to dodge, teaching her how to how to dodge and go in, teaching her when to go in, teaching her positioning. I'm teaching her a lot, but it it sounds like a little when you're actually there playing it and having fun while doing it. You know. You learn it slowly, and that's how we're gonna do it. We're taking it very, we're taking it nice and slow. You know, teaching her a, a, a little bit, one thing from each category at a time as she goes on playing her games. And by the time this girl hits level thirty, she's gonna be a fucking beast. She really is. She's gonna be a fucking. Oh my god, she's gonna be a beast. It's fucking Sona and Morgana, and Annie. She's gonna be probably top tier, top tier in those three champions, dude. And then I'm gonna teach her how to do top lane, and I'm 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 leaning towards Garen. Really, the main thing that I'm trying to teach her with these champions is how to play Garen. The things you'll need for Garen, which is moving, when to go in for trades, when to stay back and farm. I'm also teaching her how to farm too. That's a very big thing that every beginner should learn how to do is farm, no matter what role you're playing. You should always learn how to farm because every other role besides support, which is where everyone usually starts, especially girl gamers in League of Legends. They all started support, so it's the easiest for me to teach because I main support at one point. I play every role, but where I started off was support. That That's pretty much my comfort zone beside top, which is what you usually see me play on stream. Usually what you see me play on stream is ADC top or mid. Those are three are my top three most favorite roles, but before, I, before you guys met me, before I knew any of you guys, this... 
but that was my main role. You know, yeah. This turned into a vlog for a thanks for this turned into a this turned in from a this turned into a vlog that that was supposed to be about my two thousand my recently hit today two thousand followers on Twitter and Facebook to <laughs> to to uh, talking about my girlfriend's progression through League of Legends, which is also pretty fucking dope because she went from being the shittiest player to le in League to. First time Sona 10 and fucking 1 and 2. <laughs> you can look at it for in her match history. There's one game before the 10 and 1 game that I played as Sona, which was me. And I was pretty much showing her the basics, like how to use Sona's abilities and what they do. And how to build her. And, um, like I was showing her basic mechanics that I was trying to explain. But she'd understand what it is. Rather than me saying it in words, she'd understand what it is when she sees it. Like certain things that I'm trying to explain, like where to stand when you're farming. Like simple things, like where to stand when you're farming and how to move around when you farm and last hits. That's what I was showing her with Sona's, how to last hit and harass at the same time using Sona's Q because it shoots in two directions. So I was showing her like cool, cool things you can do to hit a minion and hit the champion at the same time. And just in general, teaching her... How to, like, with Sona, the main thing is to proc your passive. So you got a Q, auto, and, like, pretty much auto attack after every ability. Which is, and I showed her a new item to her, which is Lich Bane. She's learning about Lich Bane now, which pretty much makes Sona a fucking god. Because with Sona, what you're doing is you're auto attacking and queuing a lot. You're using your abilities and you're following up with an auto attack a lot. So, and your AP, you have, a, you build a lot of AP damage, so you... That's your main thing right there is Lich Pain. It'll help you because it'll make the basic attack after that you use after your abilities a lot stronger. And that's what she needs. And it's, it's all working out. So she's learning Sona. She's doing great. I'm proud of her. Uh, I'm more proud of her than, than any champion I've seen her play. But then again, uh, before, before she played Sona... She was playing other champions. She was playing the more difficult ones because there's certain things that I wanted to show her that those champions would teach her. And yeah, Ash would teach her the game, how to auto attack, how to farm, how to, you know, how to fight. Annie would teach her how to use your abilities and how to max, how to get the maximum damage output out of your abilities. Morgana would teach her skill shots uh, and positioning. Because naturally from skill shots comes positioning because skill shots get blocked by minions. So you got to position yourself in such a way that you can thread a skill shot through and hit them. Use your combos, get the maximum damage out while you have that short split second amount of time in that you use your abilities. And it will teach you how to fight better. And, then, uh, and it will teach you how to farm better because your auto attacks do a lot, a lot less damage on Morgana. Morgana has one of the weakest auto attacks in the game besides Annie. Uh, and it just teaches you how to how to combo better. So I'm, I started off by teaching her how to combo. Now I'm teaching her positioning and movement and, and mobility with Sona. So how to dodge and where to position yourself, where to be. And also how to farm as well. Uh, and yeah, just how to be a better player. And Sona is an easy and powerful champion to play at first because she can heal yourself, which is perfect because she hasn't mastered the whole moving around thing very, very well. I'm going to stop. I'm tired of walking. And it's just, she learns the game a lot better now. Uh, so I'm really proud of her 10 and 1. No, I'm taking things slow. I'm teaching her basic movement. And yeah, everything is working out great. She's doing great. She had a 10 and 1 with Sona. Actually, I'm still on her account. I can show you guys. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how I have the camera angle, but match history. I lost the game that I played Sona here. This is my 19 10 4. And then right here is her game 10 and 1. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know how I have it on screen. But she got a 10 and 1 right here. It's fucking awesome, right? Ten and one with Sona. Great, great game. She didn't even get to Luden's Echo. Started her on Luden's Echo. She didn't even get to it. So that's pretty fucking cool. 
as her previous Morgana games. Her Morgana games weren't that good, but, you know, she was doing things right. She was landing her bindings well, um, stuff like that. She was doing landing her bindings well. She was uh, QWing very, very well. She was using her black shields when she needed to. Okay, she had problems using her black shield. She didn't, wasn't that great with them. But overall, she got the whole skill shot thing down. That's what I wanted to get out of her playing Morgana, was getting the whole skill shot thing down. Because you're going to need that with champions. It's a good skill to learn, especially in the very beginning. That's when you should learn it, because that's when your brain is like a sponge. And then after that, you stop giving a shit. Once you hit level 30, you just stop giving a shit. And, you, and then you want to get out, of, and then you get stuck in bronze. So I want to teach her all the things while, while the, her mind gives a shit. So that's when she hits level 30, she'll be like pretty much silver out of the fucking promos. And then she'll she'll be the one that climbs out of silver before all her friends do. She'll be in gold, and then she'll be in plat, and then she'll be at my level. And that's the goal, to get her to my level so we can both play together and have fun shitting on noobs with our friends. And that's, in, that's when it's going to be awesome, and she'll get there very fast. She listens to what I tell her and plays Sona. And other, pretty much along the road, all the champions that I teach her, I just hope she listens. Which I know she will, and she's doing great. She had 10 and 1. Wow. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm still mesmerized by that. Proud of her. And babe, I know you're going to watch this, so I'm fucking proud of you. That's fucking awesome. See what happens when you listen to me? Yeah, that's what happens when you listen to me. Alright, I'm gonna go, and when I vlog, I'm gonna work on looking at the camera and not myself, not myself or the viewfinder, I'm gonna look at the camera, directly at you, at you guys, it's really hard to do, looks like I keep looking here to see how I'm positioning the camera, and how I'm holding it, so I'm assuming this works, or this, but I'm sure this, but this works too. works this works okay so yeah I'm, I'm gonna end it off by saying thank you for the 2,000 subs uh, this was a vlog about the, my my girlfriend's progression through League of Legends and how she's learning and doing great proud of my girlfriend um, um think of that's what I'm gonna call call this vlog proud of my girlfriend and her progression progress through League or I'm just going to call my girlfriend's progress through League and 2,000 subs vlog. 2,000 followers and likes on Facebook and Twitter. 2,000 Twitter followers and 2,000 Facebook tw uh, followers video vlog. Or, I don't know. I'm going to stop. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, thanks for the 2,000 followers and on Twitter. And thanks for the 2,000 likes on on Facebook, you guys, are, you guys are awesome. Uh, keep it up, keep it up, and yeah, that'll be all. Uh, peace out, peoples. Love you all, and you too, girlfriend, babe, Jen. Love you too. Uh, good job on Sona today. Oh, I hear contact problems, and. Yeah, you you did fucking awesome. You did you did pretty awesome actually. And keep listening to me. On um, soon enough, you'll be at my level of play. I'm not even kidding. You will get there. It's not that hard. You'll get it. Just listen to me. Play who I play. Play who I tell you to play, and play him the way I tell you to play him, and you'll be fine. You did that with Sona, and look what look what happened. You got ten and one. You know. <laughs>